Good morning everybody, Dan Darren coming back to the third annual Modoc High Mountain Roller Class Fraternity video update on kit number three. As you can see, things are moving smoothly up here. They are flying every other day, twice a day on the days that they are flying. And a few of the deeper birds only fly once a day in that time because there is some birds up there that are really uh, deeper birds. And they're still molting, kind of. Some of them are still finishing up their molt and stuff like that. So I'm just still being a little patient with them. But the birds that don't work as much or not rolling yet, they go out the second time. So, But today they'll only go out once due to weather. So today everybody's just going out the one time. Uh, we did have uh, one bird bump out the kit box at the beginning, but that is a bird that has been doing that. It's a black and white flight. And uh, the breeder knows it already. It's a nice overcast day. We should see some roll on the ones that are rolling soon. But they still aren't as active yet. They're still kind of working together a little bit, but the molt is still affecting some of the birds. So the molt is should be tidying up here pretty soon. It's looking really good in there. There's not very many birds that's looking that bad, and I'm just waiting for some of the wings to fill in, fill in a little better on a couple of the other ones because uh, they've lost some secondaries and stuff. So. My weather is getting really cold up here fast, so they're, they're, that has sped up their molt. So. But as you can see, kit number three is doing really well, kitting well. There, there is some birds rolling right now. Now once the molt is pretty much finishing up, and I know it's uh, pretty much good to go, I'll be pushing these birds back to once a day until they really start coming into the roll. And then the, uh, the birds that are deeper and need the, the extra rest, I will pull them out before I release the birds. But I'll really start pushing these birds a little bit more here soon. Just want to make sure that their molt is over so that way that's not the extra bonus of the stress of the extra stress of training and the molt at the same time with the cold that don't all work out well. So I got to be patient, make sure that their health is up, mo health is, is up uh, paramount because with my cold weather and stuff like that it just you got to feed them and you got to make sure they're healthy so going into winter or you're going to have issues so that is my top priority is to keep monitoring on that and with the the molt tidying up then they'll be able to handle the little extra stress of the everyday flying and like i said i'll be pulling the extra birds that do need the rest that don't need to be flown every day and fly them every other day like they have been but but the extra birds that need the extra work, they will be getting the extra work. All right, guys, you kind of see the gist of things up here. You all have a wonderful day. Stay flying where you're at, and may your skies be BOP free. Peace from the Modoc High Mountains. There you go. Some of the birds that are coming into the rolls going in there screwing up the mix a little bit, but it is what it is right now. <laughs> you have a wonderful day. Stay flying. Peace.